What happens if a primer explodes while you're picking it up in your primer pickup tube? Okay guys, today we're gonna be blowing one of these up. Um, hopefully it doesn't actually blow up because right now this is my only one and I'd rather keep using it, but we're gonna see in the name of science. So when I first got into reloading, when you're picking up those primers, um, one of my friends mentioned that uh, if a primer goes off in here and it blows up, this thing is not strong enough to contain the blast of all the primers because supposedly the theory is that they'll set off in a chain reaction and go kaboom and it'll pretty much blow the skin off your hands. He even sent me a link to a website, which I'll see if I can find, put that link, uh, link in the description below, uh, pretty much with some pretty grueling pictures of skin blown off of somebody's fingers uh, when primers blew up in a primer tube. So I've always wondered what would happen if they actually blow up in the primer tube. So today, we're gonna to be testing that. Okay, so the intention is, I obviously don't wanna be holding it, so I have my cupboard door um, with the tube clamped to it and a board here, just in case it does do damage, I don't wanna damage my cupboard because my these, these cabinets are so beautiful, I don't wanna damage them, of course. Um, and then this is, I'm gonna, the plan is to use a soldering iron to light the primer um, so I can I'm assuming it'll take a little while so that way I can be well out of the way also today's video is powered by uh, magnum primers because I figured if anything's gonna blow that thing up it's gonna be magnum primers because they got a little bit more juice if you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna set one primer on here and see if it goes off so I'm wearing safety glasses here plugs the whole shebang using tweezers to put it on and when you pick up a primer you pick it up facing down so that's how I'm gonna put it on here we'll see how long it takes to go off Okay, so you didn't see me, but I was clear on the other side of the garage. So I think that gives me enough time to get across. I'm going to test that again real quick because I want it to be relatively reliable. Okay, here we go again one more time. And go and leave it to the other side of the garage. Okay, so worst case would be obviously if this tube was completely full of primers and you had the stopper pin in the top because then there's no way for the pressure to come out the top but my theory is is that if I don't have that stopper in I only have 10 or so in I don't think it'll blow up I think all the energy will go out the top and bottom and it'll be completely fine so I'll start with 10 if that doesn't do it then we'll fill the thing all the way up we'll see if that does it if that doesn't do it we'll throw the stopper pin in, fill it up again try that and if that doesn't blow it up then I got something that will probably will blow it up so let's give it a shot Even the next primer in line seems in like perfect condition, so it did not look, doesn't look like it propagated at all. Let's pull that guy out. These next primers, they look perfect. Can't even tell. Hey guys, here we go, party time. And I'm even putting the pin thingy in the top to prevent primers from flying out if they uh, get up there. So it should just increase pressure. And I'm out of here. Guys, this is so insane. Look at this. Watch this. And wait for it. Oh my goodness. And boom! Gone! Gone! That top clamp just like destroyed. And it's obviously somewhere on the ground around here. And this soldering iron head got destroyed. Holy crap! Guys, I thought I was recording, but my GoPro is having SD card here, so that's wonderful. Guys, check out this. So when that blew up, it actually embedded, I pulled these out and I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I pulled all these out. 
it embedded primers into this countertop. And like these things are freaking buried in there. Like, and embedded into that. So if that was on the other, and it, that, that, this soldering iron was, was completely straight and it's completely destroyed. Like, ugh, those primers are forever going to be in there as a reminder to, to not do anything stupid like that. This was the board that it was on. It completely, like you can see where it was hot, but it blew up right here. And this clamp was holding the board on just up here and it completely blew the head of that clamp off. I haven't even found the head. Uh, there's a rubber foot over here, so that's a party. Um, there's sawdust everywhere around here. Luckily, look, the cabinet's completely fine. No problem at all. I wasn't even in the room when it went off, so YouTube, I was safe. There's spent primers here, blown up. Spent, not spent, they're blown up. There's some primers kicking around over here that are that are blown up, it's hanging out, but blown up and completely mutilated. My soldering iron, like I showed before, it's completely destroyed. Um, the dial, I have no clue where that dial got off to. She's she gone. Um, it's unplugged, by the way. No. Yeah, I, this thing I showed you a little bit earlier, but I'll show you here in the light. So you can see the upward force completely bent that steel hex head. If you had the original part that was in there, it probably wouldn't have taken that force and probably would have completely blown out because it's a thinner piece of metal. Um, and then this end obviously blown off and um, has some issues. Honestly, if I replace that nylon end, I bet you I could reuse this tube, even though the tube is a little bit wonky now. I have a trusty GoPro Hero 4 that's been with me ever. It's been giving me some trouble, so I'm doing it on my phone. Um, so the moral of the story is you would be completely fine. Your hands would not be hurt at all um, if it blew up because this tube is fine. But your ears would be ringing pretty bad. And I've never, it's always never, po it's never pointing at my face, but it'd blow a hole into your countertop and likely shoot primers clear to the next state. Um, but other than that, and you being half deaf, you'd be completely fine. So mitigation things, if you did want to avoid this, I'd wear gloves, earplugs, safety glasses, and you would be completely fine if your primers blew up in your primer tube. Um, I was going to do it in this video where I blow this up with some H48 compound, um, which is, I've reloaded some primers, there's a video for that, I'll put that over here. Um, but I'll do that in another video another time because it's already been too exciting tonight. So, guys, if you thought this was interesting, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button. This video is funded from all the uh, YouTube ads, so uh, please go ahead and watch some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.